You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a familiar face to Brocktonians. I have Sheila Sullivan Jardim. Did I say it right? You did. Okay. And you are the executive director for Brockton Area Workforce Investment Board. I am. Is that the current title? It's the current title. Okay. And um, we will be seeing a, a bit of a name change coming up um, to help facilitate the public's awareness of career centers and workforce boards. Um, we'll be changing all of our names to Mass Hire, okay. Greater Brockton. I like it. I do Greater Brockton the show, so why don't you do Greater Brockton? There we go. It all fits in, and you have a coverage area, Brockton, and how many communities? We we serve Brockton along with nine other th uh, nine of the other communities that surround Brockton. Okay. Um, we go up through Avon, Whitman, Hanson, down to the Bridgewaters, East Bridgewater, West Bridgewater, Bridgewater itself. Um, we also take into account Stoughton, okay. Easton. The catchment area that we serve actually has uh, just under 300,000 people. Mm -hmm. And the division of the regions really was based upon population. So some workforce investment boards might have 22 cities, but they're still in the 300,000 people range. Mm -hmm. Whereas we have very few cities, but they're very concentrated in population, Stoughton and, uh, of course, here in Brockton. Sounds a little like my regional school district, the southeast. Very much so. Stoughton's in there, and two of the Bridgewaters are there, and this place was North Bridgewater back in the day, so yes. go, go figure. Um, you guys own the building. We do. Where you are, it's what number, School Street? 34 School 34 Street. 34 School Street, which way back in the day was the Home National Bank and then became Plymouth Home National. It's been a bank. You guys got the vaults in there just like we have the vaults in this building. Okay, and how's that working out with the, the fact that you're the owner of that building? So we actually um, no longer have a bank in the building, um, but we still like to think that there's a lot of investment going on. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, renamed the facility as the Center for Workforce Development. We have many partners in the building that help us serve the public, not only in job seekers, but helps us serve employers in finding help for them, um, different tax incentives, economic development. All of those pieces really are offered within the, within the walls of the building itself. So in addition to having the Career Center, which is run by UMass Dunneyu Institute, we also have a veteran services. We also have a DUI or DUA, Department of Unemployment Assistance. We've got transitional assistance, father bills, job corps, um, quite a few partners, and again, all within that building. Who's in the bank part? The bank part we are, that's gonna be our secret for the next couple weeks. Okay, we'll, we'll bring you back and okay. you can reveal the secret, okay? I always, have loved that building because it's a classic building. It was built to last. Oh, and it is. And you guys have renovated it now. Mm -hmm. um, because old buildings, ours was a bank building too. It took a lot to do this building. This building was left for dead and we adopted it in 94 and it took us a year and a half to do it, but we're happy that we did it. Mm -hmm. um, we're even uh, going to try to do some more with it. We're going to be part of the parking solution for the next oh, I few can't wait. years. I because can't wait. I know that's a challenge over there. You have the Lincoln Street lot, but there was a time where they were going to build a garage there, but mm -hmm. the garage is going a little further down. It's funny, in Brockton, people don't want to walk. In Boston, you walk a couple of miles to get a cheaper parking space, but in Brockton, you right, need to be right next to that door. I don't know what it is, but we'll figure it out. So let's talk about, um, we got nine total minutes. We've used up a few of them. General mission, Talk about your board, talk a little bit about regional planning. So, um, as I said, the, the Workforce Investment Board is a nonprofit, and as such, we have a variety of different values and missions that um, we implement to serve the youth, the adults, job seekers, and also the employers in our region. Um, we are run by a, a, a board of a majority of private business owners. Mm -hmm. 51% um, of my board is required to be private business so that we can get really on the ground understanding of what is being used in the industry today. So we all hear things, oh well, you know, oh geez, this is the way it's done. It's been always done that. But then you actually go to the, the company and you find, no, they don't use that anymore. Bridging that information between our job seekers and our employers is critical. And that's one of the reasons why our, our board is 51% private. 
all of our private board members, and we're always seeking new nominations, are approved by the mayor. The individual must be a individual of authority within their agency. And that also is critical so that we can actually have decision making on the spot. Mm -hmm. Um, we want to move things along, we want to you know, make progress, and having somebody on the board who actually has that authority to, to make those decisions helps us do that. The balance of the board is actually composed of educators. We have uh, the president of Massasoit traditionally is, is on our board, um, as is Bridgewater State. We also have two union representatives. We have representatives from post-secondary, uh, Superintendent uh, Smith is on our board and represents the post-secondary um, or the secondary um, educational component. We also have uh, representatives from economic development. So we really have a very well-rounded board, somewhat large. I think we're How about, large? I was going to ask you. I think we're about 33, 34 at the moment. Um, I'm always willing to add another private board member because, again, that, that really increases the breadth of our experiences mm -hmm. and the breadth of information that we can bring. Um, so within that area, um, within the center itself, one of the things that we've really tried to move forward is getting that feedback from our board members, understanding what the demands are in the industries, and then providing training opportunities for them. So since we've owned the building, We've created a healthcare lab, and within the healthcare lab, we have uh, we offer a certified nursing assistant and home health aid training. Mm -hmm. We've conducted nine classes so far. Our graduation rates are somewhere in the 80 to 85 percent. So, majority of our our candidates are moving forward into employment. And at a much lower cost than any of those for-profit schools that are much out there lower that cost. are trying to there sell you. There is no you. cost to youth. There is right. no cost to the participants. Mm -hmm. This is not a, uh, a fee-based program. Mm -hmm. um, there are eligibility requirements, but we do not charge the, the participants of the class. Um, in addition to the home health aid, we've also started welding programs in conjunction right. with Southeastern Tech. We've had Ray um, on to talk about that. Yeah, and that's been, a, again, a, an incredible opportunity. Um, in addition to welding and the health care, we've also done some manufacturing. This past year, in the 2018, the graduates of our program have earned $1.7 million in new wages. Love it. This is $1.7 million that was not coming into our community last year. These are all people that are working, making good money, moving up the ladder for their success. Guess what? We're going to need to do a half an hour. So we're going to bring it back. Okay. Okay. I Look know forward we didn't to get it. to talk about regional planning, but we'll do that another time. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks, Sheila. Mark, appreciate it. Appreciate it, it also. Always a pleasure. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.